Hi, Grade 10! For today, our topic is interpreting measures of position. And it was based on Mathematics 10, Quarter 4, Module Number 3. Hi, mud lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know for our objectives, number one, we have to calculate the measure of positions of ungrouped and group data. And number two, we have to interpret the result of the measure of position of ungrouped and group data. What's new? Mr. Ramos went to Bahet Castillo High School for the distribution of module following the health protocol such as wearing face mask and face shield. When he arrives at the school, he goes in the waiting area in the covered court and fall in line. Here is Mr. Ramos. And here is Mrs. Perez. Among the 10 parents, if you were going to describe the position of Mr. Ramos, he is in the 8th place to get the module. Therefore, two parents are still waiting after Mr. Ramos. It also means that 20% of the parents are still waiting for their turn to get the module after Mr. Ramos. Now, try this. Describe the position of Mrs. Perez. Mrs. Perez is at the second place. For number two, how many percent of the parents will still be waiting for their turn to get the module after Mrs. Perez? There are 80% of the parents are still waiting to get their module after Mrs. Perez. Interpreting Measures of Position Interpreting measures of positions A measure of position is a method by which the position that a particular data value has within a given set that can be identified. In the previous module or video lesson, you learned on how to find the measure of position, the decile, quartile, and the percentile of ungrouped data and group data. But it is important on how you are going to interpret the result. Here are the examples on how you are going to interpret the result of measures of position. Ungroup data Let's try this given example. The list shows the number of bottles of strawberry jam sold in a particular day by 14 different vendors. Now here are the list of bottles. Now do the following. First, Find the third quartile. Then, find the fourth decile. Lastly, find the 85th percentile. Solution to find the third quartile. First, arrange the data in ascending order. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16, 18, 18, 20, 20. Second, use the formula. Here is the formula. Then, substitute the number of vendors. 14 plus 1 is 15. Multiply, then we have 45 over 4. Our third decile is 11.25 score. This score is between 11 and 12 scores. That is 18 and 18. By interpolation, let's use this formula. First, we have 18 as our 11 score, plus 0.25 as our decimal point in the third quartile. Multiply by the difference of the 11 and the 12 score. Then, subtract. That is 0. Now, let's multiply. That is 
0. After adding, our third quartile is 18. The third quartile is 18. The third quartile is also the 75% of the distribution. Therefore, 75% of the scale distribution fall below the 80 bottles of strawberry jam sold. Solution for the fourth decile. First, arrange the data in ascending order. We will use the same order in number 1. Number 2, use the formula. Here is our formula. Then substitute the given. 14 plus 1 is 15. Then let's multiply. After dividing, our fourth decile is 60th score. The 60th score is 15. It is also mean that 40% of the sale distribution fall below 15 bottles of strawberry jam sold. Solution to find the 85th percentile. Arrange the data in ascending order. We will use the arrangement in number 1. Second, use the formula. Here is our formula. Substitute the given data. 14 plus 1 is 15. Then let's multiply. After dividing, our 85th percentile is 12.75 score. The score is between 12 and 13 score. That is 18 and 20. By interpolation, let's use this formula. 18, which is the 12 score, added by the decimal point of the score, which is 0.75, multiplied by the difference of the 12 and the 13 score. First, let's subtract. 20 minus 18 is 2. Then, let's multiply. 0 0.75 times 2 is 1.5. After getting their sum, our 85th percentile is 19.5. The 85th percentile is 19.5. Therefore, 85% of the sale distribution fall below 19.5 bottles of strawberry jam sold. Group Data Let's try this given example. The ages of 48 parents of 10 serpents who always get and retrieve modules in school are shown in the table. Now here is the table. We have to solve the following. Number 1, find the first quartile. Number 2, find the sixth decile. And number 3, find the 80th percentile. Using the given, we have to complete the table. Now, here is the table. Given are the class interval scores and the number of frequency. Now, we will complete the lower boundaries. The lower boundaries of 26 is 25.5. For 29, we have 28.5. For 32, we have 31.5. For 35, we have 34.5. For 38, we have 37.5 And lastly, for 41, we have 40.5 Now we will look for the less than cumulative frequency Our first frequency is 10 Added by 14 is 24 Added by 11 is 35 Added by 6 is 41 Added by 4 is 45 Lastly, added by 3 is 48 Solution for quartile 1 First, find the first quartile Here is the solution The number of parents is 48 Divided by 4, we have 12 scores Here is your first quartile Because 12 is between 11 and 24 Second, locate the position of your first quartile class Using the less than cumulative frequency column 11 to 24 Third, locate the other data needed to solve the value for the first quartile For our lower boundary, we have 28.5 
our cumulative frequency is 10. Our frequency is 14. And our class interval is 3. Fourth, substitute all the given data in the formula. Now here is the formula. 28.5 which is the lower boundaries multiplied by the difference of 12 which is the score and 10 which is the less than cumulative frequency divided by 14 which is the frequency and multiplied by 3 which is the class interval scores then let's subtract that is 2 then let's simplify lastly get the sum we have 29.93 as our first quartile. The first quartile is 28.93, means that the 25% of the 48 parents who get and retrieve the module in the school have an age less than or equal to 28.93 years. Solution for the sixth decile. First, find the 6th decile class. 6 times 48 parents divided by 10, we have 28.84. Here's your 6th decile because 28.8 is between 25 and 35. Second, locate the position of your 6th decile class using your less than cumulative frequency. That is 25 to 35. Third, locate the other data needed to solve for the value of the 6th decile. For our lower boundary, we have 31.5. 24 is our cumulative frequency. For our frequency, we have 11. And our class interval is 3. Fourth, substitute all the given data in the formula. Now here is the solution. Now let's substitute the given. 31.5 which is the lower boundary added by the difference of the score and 24 which is the less than cumulative frequency divided by 11 which is our frequency multiplied by the class interval which is 3. First, let's subtract. That is 4.8. Then let's simplify. Then lastly, get the sum. Our 6th decile is 32.82. Our 6th decile is 32.82. Means that 60% of the 48 parents who get and retrieve modules in the school have an age less than or equal to 32.82 years. Solution for the 80th percentile. First, find the 80th percentile class. Here is our given. 80 multiplied by 48 divided by 100 is equal to 38.40 score. Here is your 80th percentile class because 38.40 is between 34 and 41. Second, locate the position of your 80th percentile class using the less than cumulative frequency. And that is 34 to 41. Third, locate the other data needed to solve for the value of the 80th percentile. For our lower boundary, we have 34.5. For our cumulative frequency, that is 35. Our frequency is 6. And our class interval is 3. Fourth, substitute all the given data in the formula. Now here is our formula. Then substitute the given data. 34.5 is the lower boundary added by the difference of 38.40 which is the score and 35 which is the less than cumulative frequency divided by 6 which is the frequency. Then multiply by 3 which is the class interval. Now let's subtract. We have 3.40. Then let's simplify. Our 80th percentile is 36.2. The 80th percentile is 
means that 80% of the 48 parents who get and retrieve module in school have an age less than or equal to 32.6 years. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!